So my name is Johnny Hayes. I am 20, uh, 29 years old now. I'm from Mobile, Alabama. And I am actually um, coming back to season 12 to try out again for The Voice. I tried out for season 11. I didn't get any chairs turned. And uh, was given the opportunity to come back and do it again. And so I'm back. And uh, you know, it's something I've wanted to do for a while. And then I didn't want to do it. And now I'm ready to take on the challenge, so. I didn't think about it as much. Uh, I, I went in to it kind of not concerned about the outcome, but just to make sure that I did everything I could do regardless of the outcome and, and made sure that I knew that the song was there and um, it just was a different feeling. I, had, I was a lot more comfortable, and I think that had a lot to do with how, why I did well, I guess, well enough. I am from Mobile, Alabama. Um, I was born and raised there. Um, from there, I went to Tuscaloosa to college, um, University of Alabama. Then after that, moved back home, and I moved to Nashville. I lived in Nashville for five years, um, and my wife and I, when we got married, we decided to move back to Mobile. And so we just bought a house there. I'm back home. Uh, we're living there together now. Um, and, you know, as far as the sacrifices go, I, I've obviously had, you know, she's in Mobile working now, and um, I work with my dad doing landscaping and lawn care. So um, I left, uh, left him as well. So he's, he's kind of looking for help right now, if there's anybody out there that wants to cut some grass. Um, and, uh, yeah, and so that's pretty much, you know, my, and my dogs and, um, you know, hopefully everybody in Nashville and Mobile are all rooting for me. So friends and family. So that's it. My singing journey, it started probably when I was about, uh, I'll, I'll say it started when I was a baby just because music has always been around with my family. We listen to it all the time. And so I was definitely heavily influenced by classic rock and just rock and roll in general, anything from the 60s and 70s uh, on up. Um, and so uh, listening to music and then kind of wanting to play music as I got a little older, but when I was eight, I, I took guitar lessons and that did not go over well. And then when I went to uh, high school, my, my chorus teacher um, that I was, I was in a chorus class was just taking it, just to take it as an elective, and she was like, you can actually sing and dance, so I'm gonna put you in advanced chorus. And, um, and so I did that, and then, you know, I still didn't take it seriously, um, not until I was about 22 years old, 23 years old. Um, I started playing in bars in college, and I taught myself how to play the guitar fell in love with it and knew that that was how I wanted to make my living somehow or another and it didn't get the courage to do it until I was about 23 or 24 years old and since then that's been my job. The whole day was, a, like I said, it was a different experience than the last one so I was a little more relaxed, so I was a little more, I was just ready. Uh, I think one of the questions I was asked before was, um, kind of similar, you know, like, you know, what, what was different is this time I'm, I'm ready to kick the door down of opportunity, so to speak. Um, I've been at it, I kind of had my foot in the door and it got shut and now I'm going to kick the door open. Um, and so, you know, when I, when I first got, I knew that, that the song and, and how much I'd practice it, I, I felt very confident going into it. I, I thought, well, you know, if they don't like it, then you know, what can you do? Um, you win some, you lose some. But I didn't think it was going to define me uh, personally as a singer. And so I just went in with the attitude of I know I'm, I have a gift and I'm, I'm going to use it and be thankful for it and see what works out. And so when Adam turned, I immediately looked at my wife and, you know, we were like, all right, we did it, you know. And then, and then Gwen turned right afterwards. And so it was kind of like icing on the cake, you know. It was just... I was very uh, overwhelmed, you know, it was in, in the whole moment itself is it's looking back is kind of like, 
I don't, I don't remember a whole lot of it, but it was an exciting and very, uh, it felt, it was the most accomplished I'd ever really felt in my life next to the day that I married my wife, which I don't know how I got away with that one, but, so. Well, um, so, so funny, I, you know, I, for years I've watched the show, um, and I tried out for it a couple times before I ever got to this point, um, two, two other times actually. And uh, knowing, thinking, okay, if I was gonna pick a coach, if I was ever gonna give this opportunity, I think that you know, I would go with Adam. And, and that's always been the, on the, the forefront, right, so to speak. Um, and then when I found out Alicia was coming, coming back, and I was like, oh, that would be really cool to get that. And then Gwen as well, I've, I've, these are all people that you know, with and Blake, or that any of them turn, you're like so thankful because they've 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 probably been in your shoes before, and so they know what it's like to have the nose and finally get the finally get the yes. Well, so I had Adam in my forefront. I look over at my mom as I'm as they're they're all pleading their cases, and 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 Gwen, you know, she's so she looked so beautiful and she was so sweet, and it was just I, I was like kind of touched and, and I was thinking, you know, should I go with Gwen? I never really thought about it, but now I really kind of want to, you know? But Adam was just on his feet and he was so excited and into it. And uh, I look over and I'm kind of thinking like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. I look over and I see my mom and she's like, Adam. <laughs> and so I was like, all right, well, I kind of told him, I was like, you know, I, thank you so much, you know, for both turning around. Um, only pick one and this is really hard but I'm a mama's boy and I gotta go with what my mama says and I choose Adam as my coach so so that's kind of how I did and then it, it worked out because afterwards Gwen came up to me and she was like um she like kind of whispered in my ear and kissed me on the cheek she was like you better listen to your mama so you know that was that was nice so that was you know it was kind of mama's choice and and you know just the history of me watching the show kind of all in one Well, um, you know, like I said, my, my parents have listened to old, you know, rock and roll music. So that's always kind of been there. Um, as I was kind of coming up and growing up and discovering music on my own, I really fell hard into R&B when I was like 12 to 14 years old. And then it's just changed. It's like themes throughout my life, different music. And, um, and it was two, 2014, uh, I, I went to Memphis for the first time and I saw soul music and I fell in love with it. Stax, you know, Stax Records and that whole movement back then in the 60s and 70s and Motown. And, and so I kind of started doing that pretty regularly and I, I fell into, um, I fell in love with it, with, with just old rock and roll and old soul and R&B because it just came from down, deep, deep, deep down. And I wanted to be that kind of performer, um, and and that's and that's kind of what I try to do, and that's what kind of what musically influences me. And then, and I come from a background of hardworking people. I don't come from musicians. I'm the first musician in my family to really kind of, I guess, first one in general. Um, but I've always been taught from a young age that if you want anything in life, it doesn't matter if you. It doesn't matter if you cut the grass, it doesn't matter if you clean pools for a living, or if you're a musician, or if you're a reporter. It, if you want to be good at something, you have to give 100% and you've got to work hard at it, period. There's no other way around it. And so, you know, I've had different jobs and I've, I've, I've done, I've ran the gamut and I know, I knew what I wanted to do and, you know, I, I, have ha I had a job right out of college and I looked, all I did while I was at that job was looked up how musicians got out of the jobs they were in so they could become full-time musicians. Um, and, and so it's, it's stories and it's, it's, it's hearing that other people can do it that made me realize that you have to just do it. You can't talk about doing it. You can't write about doing it. You just got to go do it. And that has uh, totally carried me. And, and that's kind of my goal here is, is if there's anybody out there that's watching this that's thinking, um, like, I, maybe that could be me. I don't know if I'm good enough. Well, you don't just start off good enough. You gotta work hard to get there. 
and you're going to get a lot of no's, but it's worth it. And it doesn't matter what you do in life, give 100% all the way. So that's kind of what drives me and that's what influences me. I really, you know, for blind auditions, there's 96 of us. And I can tell you that all of those people are really, really, really good. I mean, like straight up talented people. And just being around talent, you know, I think, ta I think talent likes to be around talent. I think good, you know what I mean? If you're, if you're good at something, you want to be around other people that are good because you want to be better. So just being in, in the environment of, of the contestants and the voice and the whole thing kind of challenges you at least it, it does to me, it makes, it puts a fire under me, so to speak, to, to want to be better. And I don't at all think that I'm the best singer here um, by, by a long shot. Um, but I, I definitely think that, uh, you know, I, like the, the hard work is the thing and that really like pushes me through. And I, I think that as far as challenges are concerned, it's gonna be just, maybe certain notes here and there. I really just, I, I want to be challenged to be better every single day. You know, I think that there's an opportunity to learn something to be better. And so that's, I'm not going to really look at this as a big time goal for me. Um, what's at the end of it? I don't know. I don't know how far I'll get. I don't know if I'll get past the, the blinds. I don't know anything, but I just, I want to be challenged to be better and just being in this environment, getting to work with Adam, getting to work with, you know, guest advisors that we don't even know about yet, um, is going to be challenging to, to sing in front of them and, and to, to really be, I, I hate to use the word judged, but judged, you know, um, on your performance and, and, and experience. And so, um, that's the challenge. That's, I, I, I just want to be better. I just want to be better than I was when I got here.